Hello guys, this is Amos Style Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the song from Thom York called Suspirium. Okay, I think I pretty much pronounced it incorrectly. But anyway, tell me in the comments the proper pronunciation. But anyway, give you a preview of the main thing we're going to learn in today's lesson. It goes like this, check it out. That's it, and afterwards you repeat it, okay? So back to the thing, and you can actually add more extras things to it, so you can be like... Yeah, anyways, let's get right into it. So there are eight main parts to this, okay? So eight parts, we can get right into it. But don't worry, some of the parts are actually the same, so here we go. So, first part goes like this, right hand, we have this four note pattern played twice for the first part, sign on the E, right next to the middle C here, okay? So E is right here, so go E, E, G sharp up to C sharp, and repeat those four notes again. And that's it for the first part, pretty simple, right? Okay, one more time, so it goes like this, it goes, E, E, G sharp, C sharp, E, E, G sharp, C sharp, and that's it for the right hand for this first part. Okay, once you get the first part, left hand for the first part, we have one chord here, the one chord is C sharp minor, which is C sharp, E, G sharp. Okay, so with that C sharp minor chord in mind, the two hands together goes like this, so E and C sharp minor together, so both times it goes together, together, like that, pretty simple, okay, so it's like one chord per every first of the four notes, okay? So anyway, one more time, it goes to get up, to get up. Just like that, and there you have it. Okay, moving on to the second part. Second part, right hand continues. Goes up to the A sharp here, so middle C, A sharp. Okay, so A sharp, A sharp, C sharp, F sharp, and for two times, let's repeat again. Just like that. So every single part, it's like that pattern where you play the four notes, play twice. Okay, so one more time for the second part, so it goes, a sharp, A sharp, C sharp, F sharp, and repeat it. That's it for the right hand. Once you get that there, left hand, we have one chord here. The one chord is F sharp major, which is a fully black note uh, chord, which is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. Okay? So with that F sharp major in mind, the two hands together goes like this. So A sharp and F, ma F sharp major together. And then repeat. Like that, and that's it for the second part. One more time. So it's together, together. And that's it. Okay, so back to back, the two parts we've learned so far where we play like this. Check it out. So it goes, together, 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 together. And that's it. Okay, now, moving on to the third part. Third part continues like this. Right hand goes C sharp here, so middle C, C, C sharp. So C sharp, C sharp, E up to A. Repeat that. That's it for the third part for the right hand. One more time, let's go like this. C sharp, C sharp, E, A. C sharp, C sharp, E, A. And that's it for the right hand for the third part. Left hand, uh, A major chord. Okay, so it's A, C sharp, E. Okay, so with that A major chord in mind, the two hands together goes like this. C sharp and A major together. So it's together, together. And that's it. Okay, so uh, moving on to the fourth part. Fourth part is actually exactly the same as the first part, so we just repeat it. Okay, now we're halfway there. So since we're halfway there, uh, we learned the four parts. So let's play it back to back, the four parts, so you know how it sounds like all like back to back. Check it out. It goes like this. Like that. Now, moving on to the fifth part. Okay, the fifth part continues like this. Right hand goes D sharp. D sharp, F sharp, to C sharp, and repeat that, like that. You can see every single part's always having this four note motive played twice. And one more time for this fifth part, it goes D sharp, D sharp, F sharp, C sharp, and repeat that. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, change of chords here, the chord is B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. Okay, with that in mind, the two hands together for this fifth part goes like this, so once again it's D sharp, B major together. Together. Just like that, and there you have it for the fifth part, okay? So yeah. So, together, together, and that's it. Now, moving on to the uh, sixth part. 
something awesome happens here because this sixth part is actually exactly the same as the second part. If you recall that, that's the F sharp major and the right hand is like A sharp, C sharp, F sharp. So it's completely the same as the second part, like this. So it's once again. And that's the sixth part. So remember, sixth part, same as the second part. If you forgot that, go back and check it out again. But anyways, yeah, and then afterwards, the seventh part also is exactly the same as the third part. So many patterns, right? So seventh part, same as the third part. Remember that, okay? So it's the C sharp on the right hand, the C sharp, C sharp, E, A version, and the left hand is A major, like this. Like that, okay? So that's the seventh part. Now, moving on to the eighth and last part of this section. Eighth and last part of the section is a little bit uh, different. It plays this four note motif for four times this time, okay? So right hand goes F, F, A flat, D flat. And repeat that for four times. The second time, third time, fourth time. And that's it for the right hand. Okay, left hand, we have one chord here is D flat major, played four times. So just D flat, F, A flat. So yes, remember this D flat major chord, okay? So, the two hands together for this um, eighth part goes like this. So uh, it's one chord per every first note of the four a group of notes. So it's like together, 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 together. And that's it. Okay, so back to back, the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth part will be played like this. So you know how it goes. Okay, so it's like. So that's pretty much it. So back to back, all eight parts will be played like this. Check it out. So it goes. you got all these eight parts all you need to do is just repeat those eight parts again and again until you get it very smooth so after you've got everything smooth all the melody all the chords all the rhythm and then then you can start adding other improvisational patterns left hand you can do like more octave and arpeggio patterns based on that and right hand you can harmonize if you want okay but anyways you can do something like this fun stuff very nice piano accompaniment i really like it so hope you enjoyed this lesson as well if you like these step-by-step -step piano tutorials check out the rest of my channel because literally i have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of other videos like these for you to enjoy and learn from it's a lot of stuff also check out my website bestpianomethod.com linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me learn how to play by ear improvise read sheet music and a lot of other cool stuff and as for now that's pretty much it as for now enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time Thanks for watching. For those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear, grab the free preview of my book. Or just visit my website, bestpianomethod.com, for all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, song requests, and services. All the links are in the description below. See you next time.